and welcome back. In this video, we will see some of the basic uh, principles in fluid mechanics. That is, we will understand what happens to uh, the velocity, pressure and force when we increase the area or when we decrease the area and how is it related to Newton's second law and what is what exactly is Bernoulli's principle and what exactly it is based on. Okay. So let us uh, understand this. I have come across many situations like whenever there is an increase, sorry, decrease in area, when the area decreases, many people say that pressure increases. Some say that velocity increases and some say that force increases. And what actually happens to velocity, pressure, force when we increase or decrease the uh, cross-section area through which the fluid is moving from one point to another point? So let, to understand that, first you need to know what exactly is Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle is based on the law of conservation of energy. It is very simple. It is based on the conservation of energy. Okay. It states that total energy of a fluid in a system is constant. That is, the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Energy of a fluid is constant. Okay, so let us draw a cross section area. Sorry. Okay, we have area one at this point. Say this is the point one. And this is the point two, where we have area A2. Here, A2 is less than A1, okay? So at point P1, say we have an height of datum, that is when we take a horizontal line, uh, we let us say we have a datum H1, okay? And we have a pressure P1, and we have a velocity v1 and we have a force f f1 similarly we have z2 that is the datum from the horizontal line and p2 that is the pressure and v2 that is the velocity and f that is a force okay now when we apply bernoulli's principle that is the total energy of a working fluid is constant which means that the pressure energy, energy due to pressure, that energy due to pressure plus energy due to velocity is constant. Okay. And the energy due to pressure, it includes the sum of static pressure and the dynamic pressure. And here, since I'm considering a horizontal pipe, Z1 will be equal to Z2. Since I have the elevation to be uh, the same, it is a horizontal pipe. I don't have, it is not an incline. If it's an inclined pipe like this, and if I'm taking the datum as here, if this is Z1 and this is Z2, then I'll be having a uh, difference in Z1 and Z2. That is the pressure due to static pressure. That is the static pressure, okay? So we can write that. Uh, we'll assume that uh, since the pipe is vertical, Z1 is equal to Z2. So based on Bernoulli's principle, we can write the equation for the energy of a liquid moving in a streamlined path that is incompressible. Okay, we, in Bernoulli's principle, we uh, apply it for an incompressible fluid. For compressible fluids, we add another uh, formula called uh, density. That is, uh, we add another equation for density. And here we assume that density of a fluid, that is the liquid, is always constant. It doesn't change. Okay, uh, although it can be applied to incompressible liquids as well. So, uh, so we can write as the pressure P1, okay, plus the energy due to 
the velocity of a moving half rho v1 square this is at point 1 state point 1 plus rho g z1 is same as the pressure at point 2 plus half rho v2 square plus rho g z and since z1 is equal to z2 we can strike this out so we can write it as the p1 minus p2 is equal to half of rho v2 square minus v1 square so from this what we can tell is whenever there is a decrease in area okay according to the equation of continuity that is the flow rate at this point will be same at this point whatever the fluid is moving through this point and should be, should be moving through this point because it is based on law of conservation of mass okay the mass entering at this point should be mass leaving at this point so it is equal to a into v okay so based on this well, we can say that when the since q is constant if area and uh, area is inversely proportional to velocity so if velocity if area decreases velocity should increase since a2 is less than a1 velocity at 2 will be will be greater than velocity at point 1 okay now remember this point velocity at 2 is greater than velocity at point 1 okay so when we apply this velocity to be greater then what happens to the pressure at point 2 since the total energy is same so p2 decreases many people say that area should decrease and when we apply pressure is equal to force by area when the area decreases pressure should increase that is not how it works here many here the sum of pressure is constant here when since we are taking the static pressure to be uh, zero because there is no difference uh, the dynamic pressure is constant whenever there is a static pressure also the sum of static pressure and dynamic pressure also remains constant but then whenever there is a decrease in dynamic pressure here what happens the p2 which is called uh, the dynamic pressure okay uh, it decreases okay when p2 decreases the static pressure increases both the pressure should be compensated to be uh, so that the total pressure is the same okay when the pressure is same when you apply when you come to apply the force that is the pressure is equal to force on area this is constant it is not because of force the pressure varies it is because of this pressure this force varies here okay so that is the reason many people say that when area decreases for the pressure increases because here, here area is more so many people say that pressure is more so here you should understand that due to the pressure remains constant the force changes okay pressure is same but the thing is whenever there is increase decrease in the static pressure there will be increase in the dynamic pressure whenever there is decrease in the dynamic pressure there will be increase in the static pressure here since the static pressure is same the dynamic pressure plays so the the dynamic pressure itself decreases but the velocity increases due to the equation of continuity okay due, the equation of continuity is based on conservation of mass okay and bernoulli's principle is based on conservation of energy these two are the uh, basics okay based on which the Bernoulli's principle and equation of continuity is arrived. Okay, now next thing is what happens to the force? And we can say that uh, uh, what is what exactly is force based on Newton's second law? Force is the product of mass into the rate of force is actually the rate of change of momentum. Okay, 
So rate of change of momentum, which means that force is equal to mass into dv by dt. Okay. Here I know that pressure is constant. I want to find the value of f. Okay. So what I will do? I will find the value of f from this. So from this, f is equal to since this is the mass. Mass is constant. The point at one, the mass or the liquid. At the rate at which the liquid is flowing should be same as at point two. So mass is the same. So what is velocity? Dv. That is the rate of change of velocity. V2 minus V1. Obviously V2 is greater. So by dt. So whenever the V2 is greater, the force increases. Okay. It is not the pressure that increases. So we say that F2 is greater than F1. Many people say that when you apply Bernoulli's principle and the pressure is equal to force by A, both conflict each other. But you should always remember that the sum of total pressure is always constant. So this is how the Newton's second law as well as the Bernoulli's principle uh, and the equation of continuity are related to one and each other. So in conclusion, we can say that Whenever there is a decrease in the area, yeah, this is say point A2 and this is point A1, we can say that when A2 is less than A1, we can conclude, conclude that P2, first let us talk about velocity. So whenever there is A2 is less, so V2 is greater than V1 and P2 is less than P1 and we can say that F2 is greater than F1. Okay. Always remember these points. Okay. Uh, you always remember these are the basics which you need to follow and understand in the basics of fluid mechanics. Thank you for watching my video. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this.